Aaron Araldis Chapman has now given up runs in five straight appearances. What are you seeing from him on the mound? What's going on with him? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, just not been as as fine with his command. Um, and, and, you know, I think, you know, at times going away from that, from his fastball, he got beat on the fastball today there by Pollock, but just not, not quite as sharp as, as certainly we've seen him. You went out there at one point in time with Mike Shuck, the athletic trainer. What made you go out there and what did he say to you to convince you to keep him out there? No, he, he wanted to pitch. Um, just he deal, he was getting some treatment on, a, on his Achilles. I just felt like he, when he was moving around, he, he wasn't moving around great out there, but um, you know, he wanted the ball. Do you think that Achilles is the issue, why he's having some, some problems out there? Um, <clears throat> look, I, I think today, to me, to me, he didn't look look great on his, you know, his legs with that. So I think that was probably an issue today. Who else? Lindsay, Brendan. Is the Achilles issue like tendonitis? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't, yeah. I, I don't, I don't, well, I, I shouldn't say, yeah, I, there's no, I don't have a diagnosis on it. So what was your read on the Hicks pickoff? Um, obviously being aggressive there, almost had him timed up and then, once he didn't, he still had a chance to get back, but just lost his footing. And when did you guys find out about Gallo and Higgy and well, and how are they? They're both. I mean, I mean, they're okay, but they're, you know, ill. Uh, they they were kind of ill yesterday, and then you know overnight, and this morning coming in, and Gallo tried to go through some stuff, and it was just like, you know, so, yeah, they're both pretty under the weather at that point you guys tested them pre-game and they came back yeah we tested them i think we tested them both yesterday or last night and it was negative but they were pre still pretty sick this morning booney based on what you're seeing in, in chapman now what do you think is the best way for you to use them in this uh is now well getting them in spots where he can be successful parts of the lineup where he can be successful um you know he, he's had a couple of hiccups here, but and even though it hasn't been perfect here this first, you know, month or two, you know, he's still been for the most part getting results. It's been the last couple, you know, where he's been, you know, struggled a little bit with it, and it, it comes down to command. And we've we've seen him go through stretches of like this, um, you know, at different times in different lengths of stretch uh, over the course of a year. We just got to continue to work to try and get him right because when he gets synced up. You know, delivery wise and and strike throwing wise, you know he's still got the stuff to be dominant. Eric, with uh, Higgy and Gallo, were they both at the welcome home dinner last night? No, they ended up. We ended up not having them go. Yeah. And then, uh, what did you think of Tyone today? Great. I mean, you know, obviously, <clears throat> in this stretch and doubleheader day, you know, you know, to be able to get that kind of length out of a starter is first and foremost a great thing. You know, for him to be that good against a really good good lineup to give us seven innings there was huge but on top of that i thought he was really sharp um he had a little bit of everything going um you know was pitch efficient had one inning where you know he ended up throwing a lot of pitches might have been around that fifth or sixth inning but you know made a big pitch when he had to then bounced back and got real efficient in his final two innings so i thought he threw the ball great Meredith and then Buster. Aaron, just back to the Achilles for a second. Will you have him undergo any additional I, I tests know. or anything? I don't know, Meredith. We just got through the game, so, you know, I, I don't know. It's part of a, obviously, has been a great year for Judge. Can you just talk about his adjustments during the course of today's game, very different pitchers that he saw? Yeah, I mean, Graveman's as tough as it gets, you know, right on right you know he's 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 pretty tough and he, I, I think he's down two strikes there and put that kind of swing on that ball um you know a, a really good day but yeah Cueto was tough with him you know got him probably to expand a little but a good job of just keeping his bat in the hitting zone for for a long time to to get some to get a couple hits off him but but a pretty pretty special at bat down one there against Graveman who's who's tough and when you're up against it there with two strikes